Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to grow a pineapple from the top and you're going to be doing what I'm doing right here. So basically I have a top of a pineapple right here and this is alive. This isn't just some leaf that was grown on here. This is actually another clone of the plant. So there's two ways you grow a pineapple. One, you can do it from seed, although that would take a lot more longer because it takes around 100 days for it to become maybe around two inches or one inch tall. But this right here is a pup or just a clone. I'm gonna call it a little beaver, because that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna rip this tag off right here. So to grow a pineapple, you're going to go ahead and buy one. The reason for this is because they're starting to take things off. They're taking these off the um the, the pineapple, making it so people can't grow it. And they end up do charging extra money for you with the um, head on top because they obviously know how easy it is for you to grow it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. So let's get into it. Okay, so obviously uh, we have a different head here and one that's been fully taken off and put in the glass with water. So I'm gonna show you how to take this off properly and place it in a clear glass so that we can see the roots coming down. Unless you want a normal cup, that's fine. But you wanna make sure that this does not fall in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the base right here, which is going to be the middle. And you're going to go ahead and twist to your right or your left. And it should come off like that. It will look like this. And do not worry, this is not going to damage the plant. And after you have done that, you're not just going to throw it in water because there's Edison steps that you need to follow before. Okay, so after you have the top down, what you're going to do is you're going to peel these off for certain reasons because we're gonna go ahead and try to expose the area where it's going to root. And I'll show you guys once I'm done with that. Okay, so after you peel it, you should see these weird looking root things. These are completely normal. These are actually going to be the roots that are gonna come down. And as you see, I peeled off at least four layers. So you count each of these as one, two, three, four. And you're gonna leave a good amount of space. So after you're done with that, you need to go ahead and grab a clear glass of water in it and you're going to pluck this in there and you're going to leave it for a couple weeks until you see roots come down about maybe two to three inches you can plant it once you see roots but probably give it a while so they get long enough just in case and if you can end up taking these off and it's in the winter time you can actually they can actually last eight to ten weeks without growing because they store energy in the base of the plant which keeps the um clone of the top alive and I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy eating this and I'll update you all very soon when I get these to root. Okay, so I have a clear cup water. This is not glass, but it is clear. I'm gonna go ahead and just simply place that in there. And if you look closely, you can see that it's submerged in water. You do not wanna put every bit of this in the water or else you will cause it to root. You just wanna put it to where the point where all the leaves have been plucked off, leaving these ones because it's going to end up growing, and once you see roots coming down, you're going to go ahead and plant that, and you have a brand new pineapple plant. These things last to five to four years, that's what I was told, and they grow stuff like this. On top of that, they don't need much fertilizer. Just put it in the soil, and I probably want fertilizer each year. That's basically all they need. They're basically self-fertile, and they uh, don't like winter time. So You can also grow these in pots. Pots can be product size, maybe this width, this height, maybe a little wider, because they can actually grow. If you live in a harsh, warm winter, you can just take the plant and put it in the soil. It doesn't have a long root range, so that means it can basically grow maybe in a 20 inch long uh, pot with a 15 inch wide uh, circle. That's gonna make it where you can bring it inside during the harsh winter, and you can put it in, inside your house or greenhouse near a sunny location. Make sure it gets full-time sun. They also do well in part shade, part sun. So you can basically put it in a six to five hour sunny spot. It doesn't matter. You can move anywhere you want. They're very easy to take care of. You don't really need to have much maintenance on it. Although once in a while you do need to kind of prune the dead leaves off because they do look ugly. Like this one here, it's kind of blistering, but that don't matter. And do not worry if your thing looks like this. That's normal, it's gonna kind of shrivel away a little. But now that I'm growing in water, they should start to root. And you might wanna put it in a sunny location so it can reserve energy. You don't have to do full sun all the time, just maybe a couple days, maybe three, four times a week. They should be good. 
yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed these tips and uh, good luck growing. Once you do get the roots, make sure to plant it in a pot of soil. If you live in a harsh winter climate, you can just grow it in a very widely pot, like probably the size of that, but a little bit wider, not that small. And then you can basically just bring it inside if you know that there's a frost coming. And that's it. Have fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. And have fun growing the pineapple. And I'll see you all later.